turn the skirt inside out and begin to cut the excess fabric away. welcome back to my channel hope you guys are doing great if this is your first time tuning into my channel my name is Jen and on this channel we talk about thrifting and upcycling and sewing and how to maintain a sustainable wardrobe if that's something that sounds interesting to you then hit that subscribe button below click on that bell so that you don't miss an update like go ahead like do it like right now like click subscribe okay and give me a thumbs up when this video is over because those likes go a long way i really really appreciate it last week i gave you guys a upcycle video on how to create my rendition of the awake mode skirt and so this week we're going to do another jean upcycle diy project that i you can probably follow along with this video and do it just hit pause do the next step hit pause do the next step you can probably do it along with me um i really like this one this is really fun i've done this a couple times before i know other people are doing it too but I think my way is special. So I took a uh, two pairs of jeans. Um, I went to the thrift store, went looking for jeans because it's not like I don't have a stack in my closet. However, the jeans in my closet, I actually really like them. I like the style, I like the distress, and I didn't want to cut them up. I felt like I couldn't part with them. I should have parted with them, but I didn't. And I went out, I got a pair of jeans from the thrift store, and then I got another pair that matched. Put those together, and voila, created this skirt. Now, the look I was going after I was similar to this. What's different about this skirt is on the flip side, it's got a suede back, which I thought was really, really cool, but it's summertime, so I'm gonna wait and maybe do that upcycle when we get a little closer to the fall because nobody's trying to wear suede right now. Nobody's really trying to wear anything else. So let's just keep it all denim. I love the way this skirt came out i have had it on at least three times since then because it's just so comfortable and it's the perfect length i can wear some high heels with it i can wear my flats love it love it love it these skirts these maxi upcycle denim skirts are going for 400 500 600 700 1400 dollars like Really, you can make this yourself and save yourself some coins and, you know, splurge on that other item that maybe you can't DIY. That's what I like to do. There's some things out there, things, yes, I, I like the things. And, you know, I would rather upcycle my own skirt and then take that money and maybe buy a new pair of you know designer shoes that i really like so hope you guys enjoy this video please 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 give me a thumbs up and don't forget to follow me over on instagram where i share some other photos from my classes that i teach um, and lots of other things all right all right you guys um, i will see you back here next week with part two of my trip to ghana and then we'll follow up the following week with my ghana haul yes yes i shopped while i was in ghana and i cannot wait to bring all this stuff back to you guys so you can see what i got on my trip all right you guys enjoy the video all right, so I started with this first pair of jeans. It's gonna take two pairs of jeans for this project, but first pair of jeans had um, some distressed on the knees, uh, but they fit pretty well. 
fit good in the waist. The second pair of jeans were um, just the same color. They also fit, but they were just a little too short for my liking. So I'm going to use this for the second pair. So you're going to start with the first pair of jeans. Um, lay them out flat on the table. And because this is going to be the main part of the skirt, this is going to be what um, the pair of jeans that fits best in the waist. The length is good. Um, all of that is perfect on these pair of jeans. It's just that um, when I started with this pair of jeans, I was trying to determine whether or not I wanted to add an additional piece in the middle, in the front and the back. So you'll see as we go along how I made that decision. So the first thing you want to do is remove the hem. Use your seam ripper. Take this hem out. This hem, taking it out, is going to give you about an extra inch. For me, I wanted my skirt to be really long. And so the more you know, I could get at the bottom of the skirt, the better. So when I took this out, this gave me about an inch, almost um, a good inch and a half. So that was a perfect um, extra length on the skirt. All right, so I've taken the hem out of both legs and now I am going to start to cut the inseam. Now I'm going to cut very close to that stitching. Um, I want to keep that titch stitching intact because I want that to be on the front part of my skirt. You guys know when I upcycle denim, I'm always trying to use the stitching that's already in place as a design feature. So I'm gonna cut this all the way up to the crotch area. I'm gonna do that on both legs. And then once that's done, you're going to continue to cut next to that stitch across the crotch area. Now, you want to make sure, as we did on the upcycle from last week, that that front part of the jeans and the rear are both laying very flat. And so you want to take your scissors and you're going to clip next to the stitching right in the crotch area um, don't cut all the way up to the zipper maybe cut halfway and then overlap it and see if it lays flat if it doesn't lay flat and stretch out the legs make sure that everything is positioned so that it can lay flat but if you find I'm going to zoom in just a little bit so you all can see um, a little better but if you find that it's not laying flat then you want to go in there and you want to clip it a little bit more so I'm going to clip a little extra go a little further up and now I'm going to overlap and this should be much better Now that the front is laid down flat, I'm going to switch over to the back. And um, you guys remember, um, you might not have seen my thrift haul since I got these jeans. But on the thrift haul, when I tried these jeans on, um, they had a hole in the back. But I knew I was going to make it into a skirt, so I wasn't that worried about it. So the same thing in the back, you want to cut very close to that seam. Go up kind of high. See if that lays flat is that going to lay flat enough um, and lay that over put some pins in it to hold it in place all right so now this is the second pair of jeans and what I want to do since I'm only going to use the second pair of jeans to put in the opening of the skirt in the front and back um, I don't have to worry about, um, I just need enough space to fit inside that little triangular area. So I'm cutting up uh, the side seam. I am leaving the flat fell seam intact. That is the one that has um, the double stitching. I'm leaving that portion intact. And I am just simply cutting the leg portion out underneath the pocket. I'm just gonna cut right up underneath the pocket 
to that seam on the back and then I'm going to cut across in the front straight across to the crotch area and I'm using the whole leg because I want to make sure that I have enough fabric to cover that little triangular space so now we're going to bring over the skirt uh, portion that I've already um, pinned down I've removed the um, hem in the bottom so I have that extra length there I'm going to lay this out flat and see just how much of this other piece of fabric from the other leg that needs to go inside that little triangle triangular area uh, one of the things I will say is I did give some thought to not using any fabric in the opening but I didn't really like the way it turned out. So I tried the skirt on after I had pinned everything down and I decided that I really wanted my skirt to have a little more flare. So you see in the back where it's, I put a little piece in there and um, I just, the front was a little too high up for me for this design I, I you know maybe another time I might want something that was um, a little more narrow and had a higher slit in the front but for this particular design I wanted it to look more like the skirt that I'd seen by the high-end designer as opposed to um, having something that had a really high split in the front Okay, so back to piecing all of this together. So now I am just measuring, uh, making sure that the bottom part of the skirt, the hem area, matches up. And making sure that I have enough fabric to go inside this area here. And this piece that you're putting in here is referred to as a gotted. Um, when you see skirts that have like, a split but then there's a pleat in there or there's some other fabric might be cut on the bias that is a got it and so that is what I'm creating here and um, I I use that center seam to stay in the center so I wanted the center seam to be in the center in the back as well as the front so this is the back the back um, is a little more narrow than the front. The front definitely opens up a little bit more, but the back is a little more narrow. So I'm going to play around with the fabric here for a second um, to get it laid out straight. So now we flipped it over and now we're going to focus on the front. So I go in, uh, remove any pins that might have attached to the front, make sure that back portion is laying down flat and you can see how it looks on the inside. Um, that one leg that I use is just laying flat in there, but the hem is matched up perfectly. So now we are going to focus on the front. So same thing I did on the other side, cut the other leg off. Um, I had already taken the hem down and now I'm going to place this leg on the inside of the skirt, matching up the hem and making sure that that middle seam is right in the center. That was important to me as well. I wanted to have the top stitching from both sides of the leg to be on top. You can see me placing it up underneath, making sure that it fits in there very well, nice and flat, and then bringing those legs on top. And see how nice that stitching looks. You've got the top stitching in the middle and then you've got the top stitching on the one leg and on the other leg. So I really like the way that turned out. Now, now you have this triangular shape, stitching down the middle and stitching down the side. So now this is all going to get kind of laid out flat. And I'm going to take my pins and place pins all the way down the seam. This is really important. Put a lot of pins in there if you have to, because you do not want this moving around. You want to be able to take it to the sewing machine without it shifting.
Now, of course, you noticed that I had some distressing here on the knees. Uh, luckily, the piece that I put in as the got it also covered up the holes. So I'm pinning around the holes. And when I get to the sewing machine, I am going to stitch around there. Hey, and what are you waiting for? Click that subscribe button below and click on that bell so you don't miss an update. All right, so now we are going to the machine. The first thing you wanna do is sew down that middle section in the crotch area that you have cut and laid flat. I usually like to start close to the zipper, even though it's already stitched down, I like to start at the zipper, back stitch, and then stitch around right on top of the seam that's already in place. When you get to the corners, um, I like to do a little reinforcing stitch. I think that this is really important in that area because there's a lot of stress in that area. Be sure not to sew over any pins. Take these pins out as you're sewing. Um, put your hand up underneath the fabric to make sure that everything is laying flat, especially when you get to that little point area where there's a lot of fabric there. Um, I decided to go back later and do that and start at the bottom and work my way up instead. So I am here at the hem area and I'm stitching all the way up, making sure that I don't stitch over any of those pins. Um, this is the middle front. Yes, this is the middle front. So I'm stitching through the fabric that I inserted in the got it as well as the seam in the front of the skirt and now I'm getting up to that little triangle triangular area and you just want to take it slow because you are sewing over one two three four five six seven layers of thickness and so you want to make sure you sew slowly so that your needle doesn't break or get stuck um, for some machines, sewing over this amount of thickness can be very challenging, so you want to keep that in mind. Make sure you don't sew over any of those pins. Uh, make sure you're doing some back stitching, some reinforcing stitching to make sure that all of this is held together. So I decided to come straight up to where I had started. And you see me lifting up the fabric to make sure that everything is flat up underneath. All right, and so now I'm on the other side. I'm finishing the stitching to come up to the top. And then the next place I'm gonna skip over to is to sew around the distressing in the knees area. I decided that I didn't want to leave that open and it was good that the fabric covered it up on the back side. So I just simply sewed a stitch around there and I went in later to cut the fabric from the inside. Now I'm going at the other end and I'm going to stitch up from the back. Um, the back obviously is a little different. You don't have the flat fell seams on the back because you cut those off to go in the front, but it's the same process here. You're going to sew all the way up to the top where you uh, reach that little triangular piece. And then Okay, so now what I'm going to do, turn the skirt inside out and begin to cut the excess fabric away. So as you can see, I've got this big triangle piece here. There's the stitching underneath. I can take out some of these pins. I was going to cover up this other little hole on the other side. Maybe I will close it up partially. It would still look a little bit like that. So I may sew around there just to get that. But I'm going in on the inside and I'm gonna cut all the excess fabric out. And then we're done with this skirt. Hope you guys enjoyed that and will try this at home. Please let me know if you do. Tag me on Instagram, send me a note on YouTube, just send me a DM. Let me know if you try this skirt out and if you change it up a bit, I would love to see it. And I will see you guys back here next week with part two from Ghana and the following week, my Ghana haul. All right, you guys, take care and have a great week. Bye.
kitchen, you can go and obtain anything you want, anything you need. Your mind's got the key ingredient, it's belief. Uh, better see with the negativity, but I just slide right by that energy. Uh, even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never ran, sitting on, man, I still go.